All right, so last episode, we talked a major L in game one of these Eastern Conference Finals. 116-121 was the final score, and that was due to it. And horrific third quarter we had a 13 14 14 point lead at halftime and that all just dwindled away as the Cavs outscored us by 18 points in the third quarter and they ended up taking they win we ended up trying to claw, um, claw back in the fourth quarter but it wasn't enough Garland dropped 31 points had no turnovers and the reason why we lost were the bigs Mobley had 20 rebounds Allen had 15 35 out of that 46 rebounds were from their bigs just could not get anything done and I did make some changes I played great defense on Donovan Mitchell and four of the Hornets 41 points 13 assists only one turnover for Cedric Lewis didn't shoot above 50 percent had five fouls Jay Ridge gave us 18 uh eight and was don't look at the stats he was terrible this game could not play defense could not grab a board and Lamelo Ball went back to his old Lamelo Ball self and as you can see, this is a new rotation. Uh, I will be playing all 48 minutes. Uh, I probably won't actually play every minute because it's 2K. But I did give myself the max amount of minutes. So that gives us the best chance to win. Um, Josh Richardson went up to 28. And we have started Nick Richards in the place of Lowry Marketing. Mainly for defense because Evan Mobley and um, Jared Allen were getting whatever they wanted. And last year, when we started Nick Richards at power forward in the first round, we swept them, and Evan Mobley could not do anything. So hopefully, this lineup will work, and Larry Markin can actually give us a spark off the bench. So without further ado, let's hop into Sanji 2K and put our stats in. All right, here we go, and for the first time this post, I mean, second time this postseason, we will not be able to select the win. We are going to accept, and there it is, 41 points, 48% from the field, 50% from three. As we head into game two, game two of this Eastern Conference Finals. Game two here in Cleveland, 62 and 20. Cavaliers, 54 and 28. Charlotte Hornets battling it out here in the Eastern Conference Finals. Cavaliers took game one with a dominant third quarter performance. We cannot do that again. We have thrown Nick Richards into the starting lineup. We have benched Lowry Market in. And we need Mr. LaMelo Ball to have a big game here as Cedric starts it off with the three. Nick Richards has already made a huge impact in this game. Has a block. Already has an offensive rebound. It is just a breath. A, a breath? Yeah, breath. That's the right word. A breath of fresh air with him in the starting lineup right now as Aiton catches a lob and we take a 10-point lead. And Nick Richards is starting at that power forward against a Cavs team like this with those two bigs. It's just perfect. We have completely blown the door open on this lead. And I forgot to mention that we are only running an eight-man rotation right now. Uh, with Wow, I, I don't know what the hell that was. With only Lowry Market and Antis Jones being... I, no, that's actually a seven-man rotation we are running. Um, because we're only running two people off our bench. Tyus Jones and Lowry Marketing. That's it. Though That's our entire rotation. Because when we put Finney Smith in, we're running too small. And um, who else do we have? Max Strews. Yeah, he just doesn't do much in 2K. So, yeah, only a seven-man rotation in these conference finals. And I think that's going to give us the best chance of winning because it's going to have, most of the time as I miss that shot, our best uh, five players we can have on the court, or at least three of our best players on the court. All right, I'm actually getting subbed out. I told you what happened. I told you, even though I'm playing every minute, they would sub me out. And, hey, man, we're up by 17, dude. I will definitely, definitely take that. 15 seconds left. I have had a very poor... Second half, only scoring six points. I think I have two turnovers. I've been missing most of my shots. Cole Anthony's going to get what looked like a good shot there. I'm going to give it up. Never mind, Lamelo's playing shooting guard. All right, Tyus Jones, just take it. We're going to take a 19-point lead going into halftime. The Cavs give us a gut punch in game one, and we came out swinging in game two. Why is Najee Marshall in the game? 2K, do you, do you guys just ignore... My rotations, dude? Like, and he's guarding Jarrett Allen. Oh, dear God, dude. Jay Rich, that's going to brick because I pass it to him. This is awful. Is he playing center? He's playing center. He's playing center. Donovan Mitchell has been cooking so far in this quarter. Let's see if that can continue as he gets space for the mid-range, and he knocks it down. He has hit four straight shots in this quarter, and he has 18 now in the game. He's a nice screen. 
from Cedric. And that's another three. Third one or fourth one of the game for Cedric. He's got 25 and he brings the lead back to 17. Getting Donovan Mitchell answer back. We've been going back and forth so far. Bad shot. It's off. Seventh rebound for Cedric. Flirting with the triple-double. Going to kick it out. Josh Richardson in the corner. It's off. The Cavaliers still keep trying to fight back, but they cannot stop our offense right now. It's just unstoppable as Darius Garland's going to get an open shot. Kicks it out. Mitchell in the corner. He doesn't hit it. He's been hot fire tonight in this quarter, and I turned the ball over. I should have saw that coming. Isaac Coral was eyeing it down like a hawk as he's got the ball at the top of the key. Goes out. He's got uh, Mr. Aiton on the Mitchell with the three. It's off again. He misses it again. Bobbles the rebound. Kick it up. Lamelo. Kick it back. Cedric from downtown. It's good. Cedric Lewis again. Look at the field goal percentage for the Cavaliers. 32% in the first quarter. 40% in the second quarter. And they have jumped up to just under 70% in this quarter. And they're still down by 20 plus because they cannot stop the threes. It is raining here. We have made 10 so far as a team on, I'm assuming, great efficiency because it feels like all of them are going in besides that Jay Rich one that he decided to clank in the corner. And we have a 23-point lead. We just punched them in the mouth after they gave us a heartbreaking loss as they miss again. Under 20 seconds left in this third quarter. And we have just completely dominated this Cavs team as they hit the three. 95 to 69 so far. We almost scored 100 points in three quarters. And Lowry Markinen hit three threes and got an and one in this quarter alone. Jay Rich, uh, that's a bad shot. And he drains it, bro. Josh Richardson has 15 on the game. He's playing that Caleb Martin role right now. All right, I guess subbed out to start the fourth, which makes sense. We're up by uh, 28 points in this game. And they only have two double-digit scorers I checked. I was subbed out for five seconds, by the way. Uh, Mitchell with 23 and Moby with 11. No one else has over nine in the game. And I don't think anyone has double-digit rebounds. So the Nick Richards start, yep, it worked. As Garland's probably going to hit that. No, he misses on the fading three-pointer. Right, I guess subbed out again, but I'm going to be subbed back in at about five seconds. Watch as we have a 26-point lead. Yep, saw it coming. All right, 11 seconds left. I mean, it was garbage time, but the Cavaliers cut it all the way to 10. Uh, I was subbed out for a lot of those uh, minutes because it's 2K. I I mean, you know what? Screw it. Oh, I got blocked. Uh, why would I go up for a layup there? I Whatever. 127, 117 is your final score. That score does not resemble the beatdown that was had of the Cavaliers. Final box score, Mitchell, 27.7 assists. Uh, main most of that was in that actually third quarter uh 15 points i forgot yeah he was going off in that quarter i was gonna say most of that was in garbage time as you can see mobley got most of his stats in garbage time garland got most of his stats same thing with cole anthony all in garbage time so that don't even count mobley's 24 that means nothing you gotta cut what 13 of those and a half this man had 11 points all right those garbage time minutes mean nothing uh he just inflated his stats cole anthony same thing he should have nine points uh, Jared Allen, he had like 9.7 rebounds. Uh, Garland didn't play well. So I don't care what their numbers look like. No one played well on this team besides Donovan Mitchell. Uh, for the Hornets, 44 points, 8 rebounds, 15 assists for Cedric Lewis. Played 34 out of 40 minutes in this game. Uh, only one steal, though. I have not been able to get steals on this Cavaliers team. 16-27 uh, from the field, 6-10 from 3, and only went to the line 6 times. So no ball. Huge game, and we needed it. 26 points, 15 assists, knocked down two threes, and all of his missed shots were from downtown, so he hit all of his twos. Josh Richardson, another big game. He has just been on fire ever since that 30-piece. Actually, maybe he hasn't. All right, never mind. I lied. He had 18, though, so he's averaging about 17 points a game in the series so far. Uh, nine points in the playoffs. He did not make a three, though. Uh, Aiden at 16 and 11. Didn't miss a shot. He had a bounce back game. Had two offensive rebounds. Uh, Lowry Markinen off the bench. Played better than he has all playoffs with his one game off the bench. Hit four threes. Had 15 points. Nick Richards only had six points. But, man, he brought just that big body. He had one block. He had that offensive rebound in the first quarter. And we, we just needed him to be a big body there to uh, defend Mr. Evan Mobley. Other than that, series is tied 1-1. That's it for me. GG.